Hi, welcome to SOLIDWORKS 2019-20 video tutorial. I want to do that handlebar for the bicycle. Now in SOLIDWORKS. I've already imported the step file which you can download from my GrabCat account. You will find a link in the description. So I will need some planes. I could use full surface or I could go for planar surfaces. I want to do extrudes and therefore I will need uh, sketches and therefore I will need planes. So let's go for planes. I need a plane with an offset to the top plane. This one. And this should go through this point. Okay. And I think I can do a filled surface here if I go for a filled one. So filled. I can, and that's not possible because there's some connection here, so I won't have to use and will have to use another plane. So let's go here for another plane again, distance to the top plane, now through one of these points and confirm. Let's do a sketch on the top plane, and I just want to convert these into my sketch. Leave this one. Now sketch on that plane. Let's convert those curves. Confirm that sketch. Go for this plane, do another sketch and convert those two arcs. Confirm, leave that sketch. Now I can hide those planes. I want to do two extrudes and yeah. So extrude surface, there you go, with the first sketch, turn it around, maybe 20, confirm and hide, that sketch is already hidden, or is it, yeah, and this is the curve which I can hide as well. Now another one. With this sketch, that would be sketch here. I could use edges or faces to no that's extend, sorry. I wanted to use extrude. And that would be this sketch here. That's OK and confirm. Now let's hide that curve. Now I could go for a planar surface here. Again, I need the sketch. Confirm. Let's do an offset the other way around, and that might be 40. Confirm. Let's hide the extrude. Hide this. No. I will need that extrude, so I should not hide it. I will need some more planar surfaces with those sketches as well. So I will do planar surface with the sketch of this extrude. Yep. And another planar surface with the sketch of 
the other extrude. Okay. Now I need a sweep and therefore I will need a line. I could go for another sketch or for a 3D line. Let's go for another sketch on the top plane. So where to go? Go for the top plane. Go for a sketch. And I want to use that point, of course. And I need a line which is vertical and has a length of 40. And this point on that line should be with a midpoint relation and confirm and leave this sketch. Now use this one and go for a sweep. And the path will be this one here. Okay. Confirm. And I will need a f I want to use a fill here, so let's go for a fill. Where's the fill? There's the fill. Do a fill here and confirm. Okay, now I can trim. Let's take a look. Yeah, it should look like this. And I want to trim with the surface. First I have to extend it on this edge here, maybe 20 millimeters, yes. And now I can trim all those surfaces. So where to go? Let's trim. This is the tool. And this should be trimmed. This should be trimmed. This one, this one, that one, this one. And I want to keep this side and confirm. Yeah. And I just noticed I don't need these at the moment, so I could hide them. If I need them, I will bring them back. And maybe I didn't need them at all. Could be. Now, I want sketch of the first extrude visible. This one and I want to do a sweep with that sketch. This sketch, yes. And the path will be, of course, the same as before. This one here. And confirm. Now I can trim again. Let's go for trim. Use this surface as tool. And I want to keep this side here. So that's maybe the wrong one. Yeah. Happens. This should be the tool. Okay. And this side I want to keep. Confirm. Hide this one. Yeah. And now I can go for that loft. Okay. I will need here an offsetted surface in there and that's why I have to bring back those surface bodies. This one and this one. Let's go for an offset 
or did I already know? So go for an offset, not this one, but that one, and 20 millimeters. Confirm. And one here as well, another offset from this surface, 20 millimeters again, yes but the other way around. Okay. Hide. Hide. And now I can do my loft. I could hide this. This one as well. So another one. There's one to hide, and that should be, oh, there's another one. Oh, that's the wrong one. Okay. Maybe go for, with edges, so it's clearly visible. Now you could use this sort of loft for a, a plane or the wing of a plane as well. It looks very similar to something like that. So let's go for the loft. And I want to use this edge so I can use that as support. Next edge would be this one. Then Select those edges. Select these. And this one. And that one. Yep. Now I can go for tangency to this face of course and tangency to the last face this one and now I want to add guide curves I want to add this edge here as guide curve and it should be of course tangent to the face and then add this edge here and this should be tangent to the face as well. I think I have all the tangencies, so let's confirm. And I've got a nice little surface here. Let's hide this one and hide that one. And now I can go for a sweep or a loft. Let's see what's better and I want yeah that's only half yeah that's okay and okay okay so sweep or loft let's try a loft why not and see what will happen one profile would be this one here that edge here this edge and then I could go, of course, go for tangency to face. And the next one would be this one here. That edge. And is there still a sketch or something? There seems there's a sketch, so let's just check this should be hidden. No, that was the surface. Yeah, that's okay. Now for the loft. So I want to use this edge here and that edge here. Yeah, it, it didn't go all around, so let's delete. Seems there's still some sort of. Let's take a look. Select other. 
there's a face, a face, and there's an edge. And this doesn't go all around. That's that's crazy. Okay. So let's delete here and go for selection manager and select this one and that small one. Confirm. Yeah, this doesn't look so good. Maybe move it around here. Let's see if we add a guide. Confirm. And another guide. That would be this edge and this one. This looks promising, but it's not really circular. So I could go, of course, for just a simple sweep. Select this one. Go for that path. That's more like it. And I could add guide curves just to make sure it works. So I need those edges. Yeah, and the other, the other edges as well. So these over here as well. So it should be circular and it should go start and end tangency. Start could be path tangent. No. Options, follow path, yes, minimum twist, merge, tangent, faces. Okay. Now let's put those surfaces together with knit. So knit this one to that one this one and confirm finally a mirror so where is mirror there's mirror i want to mirror bodies that body here and the mirror plane would be the top plane this one confirm and knit those together as well. This one and that one and confirm. And I'm done. So hope you enjoyed this one. Hope it was helpful. If you liked it, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe to my Facebook cafe page. Would be very nice of you. I want to get more more likes and subscriptions over there as well. Thanks for watching. See you to next one. Bye-bye.